Okay, this is Damon L. Jacobs. I'm here with Matt Ashford. How, How you doing? doing? We're back here again. We're back here again. Back Take two. In fine form. Because um, this is live. This, this is, is live. In the moment. <laughs> Whoa. And it's 3D. Okay. So there's so much. I mean, again, it's been about five years since we've seen Jack Devereaux on the show. Mm-hmm. Nearly five years since he and Jennifer ran off to London. Happily ever after. Happily. But of course, we know on in in Salem, there's really not happily ever after. No, there's no one's ever happily or after. Yes, um, yes. Lot, no, actually, there's a lot of after, but not so much happily. Yes. Um, they were in London working uh, for quite a long time, um, and then, uh, as far as we can tell, uh, Jennifer. Well, Jack had a lot more work going on, and he was not able to come back for you know didn't maybe didn't realize that that Alice was going to pass, and he took off suddenly to pursue a a very important job as we understand and um, this seems to be the problem is because Jennifer hasn't heard from him or seen him since that time since they saw each other in London and same thing with Abigail and the same thing with Jack Jr. or JJ as he's come to be called. Well, and they, they think they've heard from him. They think they've been getting messages and emails from him. Yes. The thing, but what they're getting is actually from the, his, his friend, who is a computer whiz and a webmaster. He didn't realize that this guy loves, is also a creative writer. And he's been writing all sorts of interesting things. Because when, like, when I was first hearing about it, I was like, oh, yeah, I heard Jack's on a walkabout. Oh, yeah, he's been visiting some ashrams in India. And he's like been in the South Seas. And he's been here. He's been there. And it was like, wow, this sounds kind of fun. It's kind of crazy. You know? But it is not what it seems. It Everything... Is- no, it's, and often like life, you know, we've, we've talked about life and how there really is no happily ever after right off in the sunset and, and for real life oh, couples either. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. It's, I mean, the stories continue and, and that's why it's kind of fun here to see people that you say, oh yeah, everything's like working out great. And then you say, oh, maybe there's bumps. And that's, that's what I'm seeing here. As soon as I came back, there were all sorts of bumps all over the place. A lot of bumps. A lot, a lot of, bumps. of bumps in Salem. Yes, a bumpy road. Now, uh, we know that as Jack has not been here, Jennifer has been developing a relationship with, as you said, a friend, Dr. Daniel Jonas, and their relationship has gotten pretty hot and heavy. Call it Team Daniel, Team Jack, right? Okay. (laughs) Yeah, I know, I know. And he's. What do you think about that? uh, About Jennifer being really, really involved in this guy? Well, you know what? I really like him. I think he's. Actually, I just think he's a really. Hey, this is just him as a great, great guy uh, and a really good actor. So I really think that Jack has more than his job cut out for him because he really is um, an interesting guy, an interesting character, and he's a doctor. Can't beat that. Mm -hmm. Is Jack a little intimidated by that? I would. uh, Yeah, I would say so. Yeah, I mean, because originally a, Jack was on the road to being well a, a politician. Yes, yeah. yes, and and you know, I mean, he and he he's always appreciated power and money and authority. And right now, he doesn't have any money. He doesn't really have any power, <laughs> and his authority is like kind of like shifting. But so you know, so 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 Daniel is very much very at ease with himself, and I think Jennifer is going to like find ways of, of really pointing that out uh, eventually but it's it is he he does have his work cut out for him with daniel because daniel's a he like i say guy's a catch wow and the ensuing years when you have not been on days of our lives you have been keeping very very busy um online fans have been able to catch you on the bay yes i've been working on the bay actually it's so strange playing opposite mary beth evans yeah again. um and playing a very different kind of character very it's just very fun but uh, dark or strange but although i think a doctor yeah is he a doctor, is he a doctor? No, i don't know he could he probably has played doctor uh-huh. more enough times <laughs> his name is steven but Steven. Uh, yes. yes um i've done that uh i went on the road with mama mia a national tour of mama mia and played uh, one of the dads harry the world traveler and or the australian australian as people who knew him but i wasn't australian then because i guess they figured we couldn't handle the accent um so i did that and, and there's a lot of singing and dancing that goes along on that show oh yeah yeah it's it's a it's really like a it's a kind of a soap opera musical or a chick flick musical kind uh-huh. of that's why i think it's done so well because it's like you know do guys really behave like this well they do in that show <laughs> yes they do <laughs> well it's the classic soap continuum who's my father only instead of two candidates it could be three. yeah why not three why not three why not kicks it up a notch i bit. know even more so i i did that and it was really a lot of fun it was yeah. they were great great people and a lot of fun and once you realize wow there's a lot of the same fans you know people are watching days and watching you know, they love Mamma Mia. Um, 
you know, so I, I was involved in that. I've been um, producing some movies um, and, you know, shot and kind of acted in and helped, you know, produce um, some films the last couple of years. Um, I just finished doing I Do, I Do um, with my wife, Christina, up in Sacramento and had a great run of that. Um, and once again, the you know, people are, like they said, watching Days of Our Lives for years. My husband and I watched Days of Our Lives since 1965. Or they'll say, since 1963 or 1960. Went, really? Oh, wow, that's good. That's yeah, that's really good. Very yeah. interesting. Well, they have, I mean, but they'll come in, they'll, they'll, a lot of testaments to people talking about Even um, though it wasn't the show. before Oh, no, I don't know what they were watching for four okay, years. Okay, we'll but, go you along know, with that. Yes, but yeah. it was, but I mean, a lot of interesting adventures, and kind of keep coming back around it, you know, people really enjoying um, this show, Days, and enjoying um, these characters. And, you know, it's, it's, it is kind of humbling to kind of like realize you're part of this story that just goes on as kind of woven into the fabric of, of America and America and couples and you know and so it's 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 kind of all roads lead back to Rome it's great and again uh, what I always loved about Jack and Jennifer especially in the beginning was that they were never your typical soap couple they didn't do the romantic flowers and curtains they were very very gritty down to earth that's us we were beer can you do we look gritty we look about as, well now yeah <laughs> look no, at this this, this is uh, just I went the story outside continues went out to get the newspaper and then <laughs> it was just, rabbit fans it was the same they're dog. so glad to have you back yeah yeah, yeah that's what does it feel strange stepping into Jack's shoes again? Do you feel like you still know him well? Um, I, I yes and no. I think I do, but then like I'm learning new things, and I th I think with this this new um, production team, creative team, we're trying to f well. I think we're all trying to discover new things or uncover old things that have been there, mm -hmm. which is in some ways even better because you said you've got this gold lying around that you've never really touched. And like you know, how does John and Marlena really feel about that over there? What about, you know, Maggie? What about Victor? I mean, everybody, there's so many people who, who've been watching things for years, and then they say something, and it's like suddenly all this stuff can come out. Mm -hmm. And it's really, it's good. It's like, uh, it's a very difficult situation, I know, with Peter and Christian, with Bo and Hope, because Bo and Hope and Jack and Jennifer were, you know, we were kind of, you could see we kind of were probably raising our kids alongside, and now we've reached this difficult, strange patch where Jennifer has been away from Jack and has been very unhappy. She meets a new guy. She's happy again. So what does that put Bo and Hope? They have to navigate this strange place. Are they going to shun Jack? I don't know. But I, I mean, I like to find out because this is the real stuff that everyday couples and families have to deal with. And it's gold and it's sitting right there in front of us. And, right. You know, you don't have to float in the air or turn green to, to uh, access it. You know? Right. So would you ever be opposed to Jack? Floating in green in the air? No, no, no. I think I've done that. that. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, I don't think I've done Maybe that. one of the times he died. Maybe <laughs> like you know, like a couple of years ago, I was probably floating. Yes. Um, no, but I'm just saying, there's just great everyday yeah. drama, everyday yeah. happenings that happen to people, and you know, the people here are more than up for it. So it's yeah. kind of exciting. I think I just sense a, an excitement um, amongst the actors, amongst the characters, because the possibilities are really opening up in terms of what people can, can do and what they could say. So. I feel that too, being here today. I mm -hmm. feel a lot of excitement, a mm -hmm. lot of charge. You said in a previous interview with me that you were sometimes you you were able to throw other actors off. And that one time with McDonald Carey, you kind of oh, yeah, rehearsed a yeah, scene yeah. in a way that uh, got a, a reaction out of him that he wasn't typically playing. Well, is there is there anyone on the canvas now who you're sort of throwing off a little bit? Or uh, I don't know. I'm with new people, and they're throwing. I mean, you know, getting a chance to work, you know, with with with, you know, with uh, Sean Christian. I mean, he's uh -huh. new. We're just beginning to find our way with each other. My new uh, my new Abigail. Mm -hmm. You know, she's wonderful, yeah. and she's very different. She's very different from from Abigail before so I, I mean I'm being thrown and then you know, like even with Miss Amy we're finding new things you know um, but I, I like I'm saying I'm about to start getting a chance to do things with I'm working with uh, you know with uh, Rafe and I'm like okay do we know each other and you know there's just all sorts of new potentials and I don't know what his stuff is or vice versa I'm working with I have a, I go meet Drake you know um, um, John John Black, you know, and and then I'm seeing Marlena in a few days, and just new. Th there's a lot of potential, so it's not so much a matter of throwing off, but maybe even allowing that person to say, look at them in a different way. Awesome. You know, I'm. I mean, you know, I'm, I mean, I'm not out to throw anybody off, but I'm definitely out to to connect. Awesome. And see what they've got. See what they've got awesome. to bring. 
So. Well, I'm so excited for Jack's return. I'm so glad to see you working you. on here and on the Bay. Both yeah. of the work, and el- every time we get to see you in a role, I always find it, especially after our, um, our interview, and we talked about how Buddhism informs your choices on screen and off screen, and that yeah. for me just brought a whole new layer of respect and appreciation. Well, being present, what we see, yeah, yes. being well, being present in what you do, and that's what people they want to. They want to feel like we're here. We're not just phoning it in. You're here. And um, it's very exciting when you show up and you're ready to to say, what do you have? And what do you have? And, uh, you know, and the different characters you don't come in with. This is my performance, and that's the way it's going to be. The audience feels that. Right. right. You know, we don't, but that's the thing here in, the, in an ongoing daytime, you know, or, or, or drama, or how, whether it's daytime, nighttime, wherever it is, is that, you know, you're open to n- new energies all the time. Right, and and that presence and that spontaneity that you bring to every scene always makes it like so you cannot look away, and I've always appreciated that. Thank <laughs> you're you. not looking away, and I'm not oh. looking away. What? And what? we're not going to look away for We Love Soaps TV. That's so right, We watching. Love Soaps TV. <laughs> okay. Thank you.